Whether you are a beginner artist, intermediate, or a professional, I have a question for you. And it means something a little different depending on which of those things you are. Are you drawing enough? Now, don't freak out, calm down. Look, here's some running water. That question might actually cause some panic and angst. But if you give me a few minutes, you may find it's more encouraging than it seems. In fact, I'd even go so far as kind of a side note to say that social media may be poisoning you. But don't worry, because today we have the antidote. Now, while you might feel like skipping around in this video a bit, there's ways that these things apply to all of us, no matter what level we're at. And if you're just starting out or still within the first few thousand hours of drawing, you may not be drawing enough, which is to say you might almost I'm so bad at this. Quit before you even start. Or have long sporadic breaks between the times that you draw, enough to hate it or to feel incapable of doing well or learning to be better. My last video before Lightbox was about same face syndrome and good gracious me did a lot of people have same joke syndrome where folks said that their problem is not being able to draw the same face more than once. And to me, that tends to be a problem faced by ones who are still in their first few thousand hours of drawing, very generally. That workflow or muscle memory just hasn't been given a chance to tighten up yet. And that's totally fine. Now, in the past, I've said that drawing every day is one of the best ways to improve. And there's people who, either through pedantry or legitimate reasons, say that it isn't possible for them to do so. And that's fine. But the principle behind this advice is to adamantly, regularly draw not just when you feel like it. And 40 minutes a day, three times a week, will be more beneficial for you at this point than two hours once a week. Now, here's a concept that I think is pretty useful. Now, it's about the percentage of time that you spend drawing things that you want to draw. New ideas, fan art, stuff from your imagination, your comfort zone. And this is up against your vegetables, things like studies, practice of fundamentals, things that may not feel as fun. Now, when you're just starting out, I think that it's important to foster the passion and keep things enjoyable. So 30% vegetables, 70% comfort zone, right? Well, this percentage is fairly similar when you're at that pro level, given that maybe 70% of your work is likely the kind of work you typically do, are used to doing, are being paid to do, and that you're at a point where learning is perhaps not as big of a priority as someone just starting out, even though you should really never stop learning. Now, for someone in the middle that's intermediate, I think that this percentage is almost the reverse. So 20% fun drawing, 80% vegetables. Why so low on the fun? Well, you're obviously taking art seriously and understand that there's things to improve. So doing some fun things here and there, but ultimately getting those veggies taken care of is going to help you the most. So on to intermediate artists. When I ask you, are you drawing enough? What do we mean? Well, one tendency that I see in a lot of intermediate artists is a lack of iteration and exploration. They aren't necessarily drawing enough or thoroughly. Now, when they have a goal, either through their own initiative or through an assignment to draw something, like let's say a dog character design, they'll do one drawing of a dog and call it done. Or they draw the head and not the body. Or do some form of what's actually kind of the minimum. Now, artists with more experience would tell this group the value of not just drawing something once, but to do the exploration work of your subject, to figure things out, not just in your head, but on the page. And once you've drawn something once, try it again, push it further, make different decisions. Honestly, there's been a lot of times where someone says, this is my character. And I mentally just go, that isn't really a character, it's a drawing. And something tells me it was your first drawing too. So while drawing enough for beginners is about the frequency and the regularity of the times that you draw, drawing enough for an intermediate artist is all about the thoroughness and the time that they spend on a project. Now for pros or people approaching a sort of expert level, and again, nobody ever stops learning, so this is all relative, the question, are you drawing enough, is in the same vein as intermediate with a sort of mutation and texture to it. Are you drawing enough per project, per design? fleshing things out like expressions, poses, props, environments, or if you aren't necessarily doing visual development work, the equivalent of that in your field. 
See, when I ask the question, are you drawing enough, I'm sure that there are a lot of you who almost immediately start thinking about your Instagram account, how often you're able to pump something out, comparing yourself to maybe that prolific artist who's able to generate a full illustration every day somehow. Now you can very easily get into the rut of making something just to post, but you can also start cutting corners on projects and cheating yourself in the long run through doing that. So for myself, there are so many things that I actually learned and figured out and got feedback on at Lightbox Expo last week. Some of it through portfolio reviews from some of the folks that I'd either love to be working with or at the level of. And this is something that I realized I need to make a change in with my own process. Oftentimes a character design or project takes months of solid work in the industry. It's not just one single drawing or even a few, but this is completely counter to making something just to post today or this week or rendering your first drawing just to get something out. Now, in my case, making videos like this, this is almost amplified. And so I have use cases of characters that I'm updating or reiterating on every few months. And I almost feel sort of apologetic, like here's the new, new version of the Wanderlumen. When in reality, that's just the time that development usually takes broken up into sporadic chunks. So some of you might assume that, well, if someone is a pro, they're drawing all the time every day, but that usually isn't the case. In fact, in my case, since I'm kind of working as a generalist, doing a lot of animation as well, you've got meetings and emails and all of that non-work work stuff. There's actually weeks where the amount of drawing is pretty light. And each video that I make is on average a day or two of work. Uh, and that's additional time that's not drawing. Previously, I've done projects like 100 days, 100 characters. Great exercise and useful for me to do at the time. But now I almost want my next self-imposed challenge to be 100 days, two characters, you know? And, and with the iteration, give turns and expressions and poses and props and situations and environments. Uh, a single drawing is not a character. Like I said earlier, a character is a multifaceted idea that we incept into other people through the use of things like visual mediums. So don't cut that short at one thing. I know that for me, I'm not drawing enough in almost every level of the question we've talked about, but it gives me something to aspire to, to find the right balance of, and ultimately take on at a better pace. So if the question, are you drawing enough, sends you into a panic, if it makes you feel like you need to be drawing faster, I think it's a comfort to consider taking your time and instead drawing deeper, more thoroughly, and more thoughtfully. If you'd like to keep my forge burning, you can do so at patreon.com slash bageldenison and get a ton of things in return. And also, if you'd like to follow me elsewhere, you can do so at bageldenison at all of the places you'll see in the end card. Thank you so much for watching and have fun creating. Related to all this, it's mid-September right now and people are already freaking out about Inktober trying to simultaneously promote themselves, improve their work, and post something every single day. This isn't what Jake Parker wanted, guys. Calm down. No one's forcing you to do it. Take it one step at a time.